let's learn how to export a PDF or print from Photoshop in this quick and simple tutorial. So once your artwork is ready and you're happy to export, first you want to check that you've got the right specs. So come to image mode and CMYK, remember we're sending this for print, so it needs to be in CMYK color. And then if I come to my image size, I can double check my resolution is 300, which is standard for print, and I can also check the dimensions of my file as well. So once I'm happy with everything, I will then come to File, Save As. Once the Save As box appears, select where you'd like to save the file. So I'm gonna put this in my images folder. You can see here I've got my original PSD here. So now I'm gonna create a new file that is gonna be a PDF version, but I'm gonna keep this original Photoshop document so I can go back and make changes. I'm gonna switch my format to Photoshop PDF, set my file name up here. So let's call this posterfinal.pdf. I will embed the color profile, and then when I'm happy, I can then click Save. When your dialog box comes up, just press OK. So once you save Adobe PDF options appear, I'm going to talk you through some of the options available to you. However, off the bat, if you want to go to option, select PDF X 1A 2001. This option is an ISO industry standard, so it should work on all versions of Acrobat. And this option does a number of different things, such as embed the fonts, turns any RGB into CMYK color mode. And it's just generally a very good option to go for if you're not too sure about your print options and you just want something that generally should work with any print that you send it to. But to better get an understanding of these options, let's go through them step by step. So by default, you'll be set at high quality print. Now, one of the biggest features in the newer versions of Photoshop is the ability to save a PDF with its Photoshop editing capabilities, which you can see here. Now, this is a great option if you want to be able to pass this PDF around to other people for them to open it up in Photoshop and then make changes. However, you've got to bear in mind that this is going to drastically increase your file size. So if you intend to send this to a printer and you don't need them to make changes, you just want them to print it, you really don't need to use this option. So bear that in mind. It's a good option to turn on if you want the editing capabilities, but it is going to massively increase your file size. The same with embed page thumbnails. You turn this on and you can get your thumbnail previews, but again, this will increase file size. And you're generally not going to need optimized for fast web preview because this is a print document. If you're using it on the web, then fair enough. But I personally wouldn't turn this on if the intention for this file is to go to print. Now your compression options can take any image or asset in the PSD that is over a certain resolution and bring it back down. So I always like to set this to 300 because this is going to print and everything should be 300 DPI. Generally you don't need anything over 300. So I like to set everything at 300. Your compression should be JPEG and you can set your image quality as high as maximum. Again, depending on the quality of the file that you want. So once we've gone through compression, we then go to output. Now by default on the high quality print, it won't add any color conversion options for you. And to be honest, if you're happy you set up your document correctly, you don't really need to worry about this. However, for reference, when you use the PDFX, 1A, it automatically uses US web coded version 2 option, which you can just leave. And then lastly, then security, if you do want to password protect the PDF, you can turn these options on here and then set the passwords. Obviously, then when they're open with Acrobat or other programs, the user will be required to use a password. And then once you've reached a summary, then you're good to go. So I'm going to switch this back to my PDFX 1A 2001, happy with all my options here, and then I'm going to press save PDF. So I'm just going to very quickly show you a side-by-side -side comparison. So I've saved two versions of the PDF. One is using the PDFX 2001 option, and then the other one is using the high quality print. So as you can see with the high quality print, we've got preserve Photoshop capabilities put on, we haven't done any color conversion, and we've set everything to the maximum resolution that we can. So this is great, like this does give you a high quality PDF, but as you can see, the document size is very large. Now if we come over to the poster that's saved with the PDFX, 2001 option, you've got a considerably smaller file size, and you've also, if you look at the colors here, you've also got the US coated color conversion, which should work better with standardized printing options across the board. So I'm not saying you shouldn't use the high quality options and kind of play around with those options yourself, but what I am saying is to be very aware of your file size, which will be drastically increased if you turn on options like preserve editing capabilities in Photoshop, and you don't use any color correction by sampling and all those other options. So this is why I like to select that PDF 
X1A 2001 option because it is a ISO recommended standardized option for publishing workflow across the world. So I know there was quite a few things we covered there, but I hope that shed some light on Photoshop PDF options for print and the options available to you. I will do some videos in the future about saving for web and some other PDF options. But for now, I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep on designing and I will see you for the next tutorial.